So when the currency is fixed at a particular rate, there will be greater certainty among for, um, foreign investors and consumers. This promotes growth and external stability. Despite the attractiveness of such a scenario, not many countries adopt this system in reality due to the difficulties with maintaining one's currency at a pegged rate. So in order to influence the price at which one currency trades for another, the central bank has to affect the demand or supply of its domestic currency so as to counteract the free market forces that would otherwise have caused it to change. So to increase the value of its currency, the central bank must buy up the currency in the forex market, thus increasing demand. And to do this, they have to sell foreign currency in its reserves. To decrease the value of its currency, the central bank must sell its domestic currency, thus increasing supply, and it does this by buying the foreign currency. So let's illustrate this graphically using the Hong Kong dollar as an example. So say the Hong Kong government is committed to keeping its exchange rate at E0 in terms of USD. An increase in demand for Hong Kong dollars causes an upward pressure on the Hong Kong dollar against the USD. Now to illustrate, uh, to counteract this increase, the government releases more Hong Kong dollar in the forex market by buying foreign currency to which the Hong Kong dollar is pegged in exchange for Hong Kong dollars. This cause causes an outward shift in the supply curve, which, pus which pushes the equilibrium price back to E0. Additionally, the Hong Kong government now has more foreign reserves. Now we can thus see that one of the big drawbacks of having a fixed exchange rate is that it requires governments to amass large foreign reserves. Additionally, if a country's fixed exchange rate is perceived as far below its market value, as in the case of China, attempts to keep the currency devalued can be taken as an unfair trading practice, and this invites retaliation from other nations.